What is going on guys? In the last video I showed you all these custom painted mirror caps. I'm just joking, they're terrible. Uh, I tried saving them in another vlog. I'm not gonna release that vlog because it turned out terribly. But anyways, long story short, these mirror caps are not worth saving thanks to the previous owner. But I did order some new mirror caps. So today we're going to be unboxing and installing these new mirror caps. Guys, let's get right into it. All right, guys, I got these from Pro Car Studio, formerly known as Pro Civic. Uh, I still like to call them Pro Civic, but they sent me this nice sweet sticker for the toolbox. And guys, I did this right. Normally, I wouldn't spend this amount of money on something so simple. I would rather put the money towards some other kind of mod. But guys, check out these mirror caps. These are real carbon fiber. And this is lighter than a piece of paper. So this is awesome. These are made pretty well. These are the Alpha carbon mirror covers i may have said that name wrong either way i'm gonna link these in the description box below but guys these are absolutely beautiful i don't know if you can see that but absolutely sick so that's for the driver's side and here is the passenger side so I ordered these. These come in fairly quick. A lot quicker than I anticipated. And guys, those are absolutely beautiful. So this is much better than me trying to uh, spray paint some mirror caps. I just, these were originally 250 bucks. They're on sale for 173 right now on ProCarStudio.com or uh, ProCivic.com. But guys, let's get right into installing these. I wanted to throw this clip in real quick because uh, I kept butchering the name of these uh, carbon fiber mirror caps and I kept calling them covers but they are the full mirror cap. They're real carbon fiber. They are the Pro Design, Pro Design Alpha Carbon Fiber Mirror Caps. Alright guys, so what you're going to do to get these mirror caps off, you're going to push this out like this. And then what I like to do is I like to shove this mirror all the way up like this. And then I like to take a rag, stick it right here. And then you're going to take a trim tool and you're just going to kind of gently, as gentle as you can, pop this mirror off. I don't it always feels like you're going to break it um, some videos tell you to take these off and put them back in I recommend just leaving them how they are so be and you'll see when I put this back in so set this off to the side I'm gonna lay this over here on that okay so there is one two three clips this one's very hard to see, but I'm going to go ahead and I'll kind of show you what's going on. The key is, it's, it's really hard to see this. I can see why a lot of people haven't filmed this. There's a clip here that you shove through. There's a clip here you shove through. Okay, just like this. So once you get the clips broke free, this will come free. And then this sets this like sits in and around so if you can gently kind of what are we caught on here okay so this top clip which was right here I did break this last time when I tried to sand this down and repaint it but here's a clip and here's a clip 
and I guess actually that just broke, but I don't care because I'm replacing it. This little slidey thing that slides right here, that, that's what's hard because when you put it on, you have to like do this and rotate. But let's go get my new carbon fiber one and I'll put it on. All right, so there's this clip and this clip. So, and just send if you can get like right here. I'm gonna try to set this in here like this and rotate it in. huge fan of this design that they did on this. And that Watch out. I'm gonna cut and work with this and I'll get right back with you. Alright, so I went to the other side and checked. There is a small gap right here on the other side as well. I thought it wasn't in all the way because this gap wasn't completely sealed. So it was throwing me off. But as you can see, all three clips are snapped into place. And this is lined up too. So pretty good fit. Yeah, I'll walk over here. Just send the hot shot the gap on that other side. See how this has a gap in it right here? That's just how this mirror cap is set up. So it's kind of awkward. You think it's not pushed in all the way, but that actually is. Um, I've watched a few videos on this and I can kind of see why everybody skips filming this step because there's really no good way to film it. But I hope this is gonna help some of you all out anyways. All right guys, I'm gonna put this uh, mirror glass back in. So a lot of people tell you to take these out when reinstalling these, I disagree with that. So the key thing is you just wanna make sure these get lined up and then this goes on this ball right here. And then there's two clips that hold here and here. So what I like to do, I like to make sure the white things are lined up. And then I feel like the rest just kind of lines up itself. So maybe. Okay. To make sure that's on the ball. Uh, yeah. So. And then once you're back in, uh, you can adjust it. All right, guys, afterwards, make sure your glass adjusts like it's supposed to. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop to the other side. I'm probably not gonna film it because it's the same process. And I'll give y'all the full view after I install this other side. Do you like dad's car? I'll take that as a yes. All right, guys, out with these and in with these. And guys, these look absolutely sick. I'm very happy I went with the real carbon fiber mirror caps instead of just the cut, the fake carbon fiber covers that are held on with 3M double-sided tape. I just think these look absolutely incredible. It does also match the carbon fiber trim. Um, I didn't. I don't want to go too overboard with the carbon fiber, but guys, I think those look absolutely sweet. So what do you all think? Are you glad I went with the carbon fiber mirror caps or do you think I should have went black or another color? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, in the videos to come, stay tuned. I'm gonna be making these door handles black and I am doing the covers on those just because of the price point. It was a lot cheaper to put some covers on. And the reviews and videos I watched, uh, the covers I bought, they like um, seat pretty good against the door handle. And it's really hard to tell that it's a cover in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to these door handles, the ones that are messed up being covered up. And I think with the black body kit and stuff, I think the black door handles is really gonna set it off along with the carbon fiber mirror covers. Uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna do a special video on these orange marker lights. I will be doing a giveaway with Oxido. So guys, be on the lookout for that video. All right guys, one more thing before I go. Uh, I apologize if I butcher your name. I really, I'm sorry in advance, but Tevin or Tevin Vader underscore 225. 
Uh, he confused me at first. He said, I think you should throw on those rep caps. I think he meant to put red. And if he did, we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch these valve stem caps out uh, to the red ones. I asked you all in the last video if I should go with these or not uh, over these black ones. And our friend Vader said... I think you should switch to the red caps. He thinks it's gonna really set off the aesthetic and complete the look. Here's what we had going on. We'll pitch that to the side. And here's what we got going on now. So, pretty sweet. Not gonna film putting all four of these on. I don't wanna bore y'all to death. There we go, guys. So, Vader, thank you so much for voting for the red caps. Um, anyways, that's from when today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, guys. That is what really helps out the most. Trying to get to 2,500 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's make it happen. All the tools you see me use in today's video are linked with the Amazon links down below. Click and purchase anything at no extra charge to you. It does help the channel out. Make sure you check out my wife and my friends uh, YouTube channels. I've got them linked in the description box as well. Uh, go show some love to those guys. They've helped me out on my YouTube journey so far. Guys, what do y'all think of the Civic so far? Comment down below. Don't worry, we haven't forgot about Gengar. More things to come on both of these cars. Guys, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.